What's good, YouTube? Dom Steven Sports Cards here, back with another video. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, it's been a minute since my last video, so I just wanted to let you all know that I'm doing well. Life's been busy. I've been uh, having limited time, but I've been able to hop on uh, a few live impromptu videos with other collaborators, uh, as well as record some podcasts uh, and had the honor of participating in this year's Hobby Palooza over on Four Collectors. Uh, so I, I've been around, I just haven't had the time to really sit down and make content. And, and it actually wasn't because I didn't get any cards in the month of June. Uh, I actually did, and I wanna recap those with you here for the first part of this video. Uh, in spring of last year, I got this 1973 Topps Candy Lid Progressive Proof of Catfish Hunter. And my girlfriend was nice enough to uh, get me the actual candy lid to go with it. So this is what the final product looks like and as you can see it's the same picture just cut out in the full color and it's So cool to, to have both of these. I've actually built up a pretty substantial uh, cash of catfish hunter PC uh, Because his cards are so affordable in the 70s with those oddball issues. I, I just can't say no uh, For a great player like catfish hunter. I picked up the 2001 Fleer Authority Albert Pujols for my birthday. Uh, this was an 8.5, uh, and these are numbered on the back here out of 2001. Uh, so the grade doesn't really matter. There's only 2001 of these. It's a card I've wanted for a long time, and I'm super juiced to own it. And 25, uh, it's, it doesn't feel any different to me, but I guess it's a big year to a lot of people. Uh, and there was one big last present, uh, both in size and in stature. It is my first complete bazooka bubblegum box this one's from 1965 pop 14 with hall of famer jim bunning here on the right absolutely just chills when i opened this uh it is a one it has the tape it has some problems but this box is in one piece and the fact that i own one of these now in the collection uh, I figured if I ever owned a complete box, it would be from 1971 because those seem to be the most plentiful, but a 1965 complete bazooka box with a Hall of Famer, Jim Bunning on it. Man, I, I don't get sick of looking at this thing. It's it's so cool, and the ads both here on the front, uh, which has a little Mickey Mantle on it, uh, as well as on the back for the sunglasses that you could send in for just an amazing piece of Americana. So those are the base, those are the birthday pickups around that time of year. But I also did spend the first of my national money uh, and I got a card that was actually on my uh, three and three goal list uh, from Adam Splendid Sports Cards. And I got the 1963, it's gonna be impossible to show up on this, huh? Of Frank Robinson. These are milk caps, the French Bauer milk caps from 1963. They did a complete red set, and I was able to pick up the Frank Robinson, as well as the Veda Pinson, a guy who I believe in strongly as a Hall of Fame candidate. Uh, I did blow a little bit of my national money on that because I got it for a price that I would jump all over if I found it a week from today. Yes, we're a week from the national when this is dropping. Um, I would have jumped all over these at the prices I paid. And that's the advice I always have to everybody is, yes, it's great to pick up cards at the show, but if there's something you've been looking for for a long time, whether you find it at the show or you find it before the show and it's a price that you, it's either priced what you wanna pay or below it, I'd consider picking it up when it's something that you don't see every day. Uh, because if you pass on it, you might not find another one for a while. I know I've been looking for that Frank Robinson milk cap for over a year now, and I finally got one. Uh, a lot of people are asking me if I'm going to grade it. I'm not sure yet, but uh, they're they're really awesome, and it's it's just so cool, a unique idea to have a milk cap. Uh, there's ice cream lids and stuff on bubble gum boxes and bubble gum packs and tobacco boxes, but uh, a milk cap is is very unique and a cool thing that the French Bauer Dairy Company did. For that year in 1963, there's also a Pete Rose in that set rookie card that's very valuable. The second part of this video, though, is something that I, I hope will make up for my inactivity here on this channel for a while. Uh, and the YouTube sports card all-star team is being assembled. 
I know the deadline is on Friday, so if you haven't voted, I'd please urge you to consider. Uh, last year, I was gracefully nominated as a YouTube all-star. It, it, it truly was an honor and something that I did not expect to happen. Uh, so I did put together a lineup this year uh, to vote in. Uh, and definitely I appreciate Eric over at Four Leaf Cards for assembling uh, this challenge this year. Um, it, it's, it's a really cool thing uh, during the summer to just honor the people uh, that are doing great things in the community and have great channels. So without further ado, let me get into the list. I have my six coaches. John Mangini over at the Mangini Collection, a guy who's become not only a mentor, but really a friend uh, in this hobby, someone that I talk to all the time about cards and the history of the game. Uh, he truly has a museum that he's building, uh, and it's a pleasure to watch his videos and talk to him. Uh, Mike over at Baseball Collector, uh, the guy who, who is really like the godfather of this community in a lot of ways. Uh, he's a great dude that I've had the pleasure of talking to at the last two nationals. Uh, and he's had a hell of a year uh, with the Grail Collection and all of his uh, pickups and uh, his success coming off of that Texas Rangers World Series win. Mike Baseball Collector is an all-star manager for me. Uh, Ray from Philly, uh, him in the Baseball Card Hall of Fame, which is now the Sports Card Hall of Fame and expanding, has been a really awesome part of this hobby as well. I've been honored to vote in that uh, the last couple of years. And Ray's an absolute great dude that I'm looking forward to uh, finally meeting in person. Uh, I've been watching his videos for many years, and me and him have a lot of similarities in the way we collect. Nate over at Tops85401, the guy that when I first typed in baseball cards on YouTube, he was the first guy that popped up. I've been watching him for a long, long time, and I got the pleasure of meeting him briefly last year in Chicago. Uh, he is not only a great community guy over on the West Coast, but someone that puts the 90s and insert era on a pedestal that I don't see a ton of channels be doing. Uh, so I just wanted to give him his credit and do there for not just being a legendary YouTube content creator, but uh, also representing an era that is underrepresented, I believe, uh, in our community. Scott over at Reindeer Studios uh, makes it as a manager for me, uh, the Hall of Famer with the amazing beard, everyone's best friend uh, who has done something that I really respect and commend uh, and that is go full time with his art. He's one of the most talented artists I've ever seen. Uh, he's an amazing guy. But definitely go support his Etsy shop, Reindeer Studios. Buy a t-shirt. Uh, put in for uh, a submission of his personal artwork. Uh, I'm finally up on the list on mine. And I, I was so excited when he reached out to me saying I was up on the list. Uh, Scott over at Reindeer Studios. Great artist, better person. And finally, yeah, yeah, I included him as a manager. Uh, he would definitely be the bench coach, uh, and that is Jake. Over at Legends Never Die, where neither will you if you know Jesus, Jake has become like a brother to me. He is the uh, uh, lesser half of the Cracking Cooperstown podcast, but he is still a hell of a collector, a guy who works on the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame religiously, a guy who I respect both as a person and as a collector, has an amazing collection, uh, and I, I could not leave off of my list. Now, my rookies of the year, I, I went with just straight positivity. Uh, and when I think positivity in this hobby, I don't know how you don't think Steven with a PH, a rip fan. Uh, Steven, he is the stereotypical friendly Canadian. I had the pleasure of finally interacting with him uh, virtually for the first time when me and him were on a live over on Sammy Thunder's channel. And he just has such a great attitude about being in the community. Uh, he has an amazing collection. He's super hyper-focused. Uh, and the guy is truly a card collector through and through. And it's been great watching his journey here in the community over the last year. And the other Rookie of the Year pick for me is Jason over at Everyday Card Collector. Uh, Jason is someone that I've gotten to know pretty well. Uh, someone that I really like other than um, him being a Ray Shock apologist. And, uh, you know, he's just really fit in uh, with the community seamlessly and a guy that I I'm really excited to hang out with in Cleveland. Uh, Jason, Everyday Card Collector, check out his channel if you haven't already. And my all-star team, I went for star power. I went for guys uh, that I love watching their content. They have a great attitude for the community. They're community first uh, kind of guys. And 
when I think of that, the first name that comes to mind is Orlando over a collector's dream. Not only does he have a museum worthy collection, truly a collector's dream to own his kind of cards, uh, but he's just one of the friendliest guys you'll ever meet. A guy who's been extremely generous with me, both with his time as well as with some gifts. Uh, Orlando is one of the best in the hobby uh, and one of the best guys I've gotten to know uh, since joining YouTube. So Orlando could not be left off my list. Uh, Dylan, Double D Vintage Sports Cards, an amazing guy. I was uh, instantly connected with him when I first started watching his videos, and me and him had a lot of fun in Chicago together last year. We're going to have a lot of fun again in Cleveland this year. Uh, he's got so much energy. He's got that childlike excitement, like I was talking about with Steven with a PA, so much positivity uh, that comes from him, and he's such a great member of this community, truly a Double Shaka All-Star. His partner in crime, Adam, over at Splendid Sports, gets my vote as an all-star. Not only is his 3-3 three three, uh, series one of my favorite uh, things in the hobby community, just to watch all those episodes. I haven't missed one. I've loved watching every single one. Uh, but his Turn Back the Clock series with Dylan has been awesome. Uh, he's a guy that has helped build websites for people, helped Mangini put out his newsletter, done so many great things in the community, and is such a great guy, not just because he's a Boston sports fan, uh, but be because of how he collects and how he handles himself and how he interacts with the community. Adam at Splendid Sports Cards. Next one, my good buddy Shane over at Shoebox Legends. Uh, Shane is truly a shoebox legend. Uh, he collects everything under the sun. Uh, he's a guy who has so much positivity, is so card forward, but also so generous. Uh, he puts in so much work. He uh, constantly uploads videos and interacts in the community and is always one text away. Shane over at Shoebox Legends, uh, truly deserving of being an all-star. The next one, Carlos from Because I'm Carlos. Uh, Carlos is probably getting sick of me voting for him for things. I put him on my YouTube Hall of Fame ballot. And I put him as an all-star. Uh, but not he was super well resembled in his own community. But when he got invited onto Hobby Palooza this year, he was uh, welcomed with so many great interactions. A ton of people that had not experienced his lives before got to experience it because of Carlos' experience with Eric and the boys. Uh, and he is one of the, like, just most honest guys in this hobby uh he does not take any bull uh and he tells it how it is from a collector's point of view he's objective he's a collector uh and he's got the sarcastic humor that i just absolutely love so because of carlos uh is an all-star for me big scott 35 who i have gotten to be on his uh live before as well uh Really great guy that I've hung out with the last two nationals. Uh, big Mets fan, another guy that is positivity, positivity, uh, and is a great community member. Uh, so many great memories watching Big Scott Lives, and I can't wait to hang out with you again in Cleveland, man. Eddie's Cardboard Chaos is my next guy, uh, and I talk about it all the time. The best quote in the community might just be, we don't count subscribers, we count friends. Uh, Eddie just embodies that full heartedly. Uh, he's someone that puts the community first, uh, is a team collector and wears that on his, on his sleeve and uh, truly a guy that I really respect in this community that I can't wait to formally meet and talk to uh, in Cleveland this year, Eddie's Cardboard Chaos. Next one is the godfather of the Baseball Hall of Fame autograph community. Frank over at Baseball Hall of Fame Autographs uh, he is a, an encyclopedia, a walking book that can teach you everything you need to know about Hall of Fame autograph collecting. He has an amazing collection in his own right, uh, and his breakdown, his Hall of Fame analysis of each Hall of Famer, I love that series. He gives you all the important details you need to know about a signature, how hard it is, uh, fakes to look for, what a real one looks like, the characteristics. It is must watch if you're an autograph guy. Frank over at Baseball Hall of Fame Autographs. The next guys i'm gonna put kind of in a pair and that's theo clemente collector sammy thunder and john 3d80s kid not only are these three guys that i am honored to call friends uh but they are the three non-youtube hall of famers uh, that are part of four collectors that put on an amazing show for hobby palooza this year uh they're three of the hardest working guys in this hobby community they churn out content they always have a positive attitude they're super welcoming they answer comments 
Uh, they're just three great guys uh, that I really respect in this hobby, and I'm excited to hang out with uh, Theo and Sammy again, me and Sammy rooming together, and then meeting John for the first time in person, even though it feels like I know you, brother. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So Theo, Clemente Collector, Sammy Thunder, John 3D80's kid, the four collectors channel, uh, that they're, they're all stars to me. The next one, The Drew, a vintage legacy, uh, one of the best storytellers in the entire hobby, a guy that I absolutely love uh, and is going to be amazing to meet him in person for the first time as well, a guy that I feel like I know. We've had very long phone conversations. Uh, he has great stories about everything. He keeps his collection small but has such a great eye and such a great focus uh, and is a guy with so much life experience that I, I feel like I've learned from a lot. So the Drew Vintage Legacy is an all-star to me. Uh, the next one, Matt and Tyrus over at The Card Story. Uh, the best Hank Aaron collection on YouTube and getting to be the best Warren Spawn collection on YouTube. Uh, they have an amazing collection. It's great seeing that father-son dynamic and they're just such sweet people. I got a pleasure to meet them and their family uh, at the National in Chicago. Spent a lot of time together uh, and they are just criminally underfollowed in this community for how great the collection is and for how even better of people they are. Uh, go check out Matt and Tyrus over at the Card Story. Adam over at Vintage Sanctuary, a guy who has a seasoned eye for cards and has not been collecting them that long. Uh, I've hung out with him at the last two nationals. I'm going to hang out with him a lot at this year's national. Uh, he's become a really great friend, a guy that I respect a lot. And uh, he truly, not only the eye appeal in his cards, but the way he talks about his cards with so much reverence, uh, it truly feels like you're in a sanctuary. Uh, and he just has one of the best eyes for eye appeal uh, in the hobby. I, I can't believe the stuff that he's able to find for the prices he's able to get it for. Adam over at Vintage Sanctuary. And last but not least, uh, I was a little unprepared, but I was not live. Uh, this is my buddy Dave over at Legends of the Dugout. He's really come out of his shell and become an amazing member of this community. A uh, guy who literally saved the YouTube get together on Thursday night by finding a place that could us accommodate us on shorter notice. Uh, now we're going to be at that uh, American Legion on Thursday night, thanks to him. Uh, and he's just been a great community member. He's someone that served uh, in the armed forces uh, and is someone that I talk to very regularly. He cares so much about the hobby community. He cares so much about the cards and the people. Uh, just a really great guy that I can't wait to hang out with again this year in Cleveland. So that is my YouTube sports card all-star lineup. Eric, I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate you for honoring me last year, and I hope that you will honor some of my picks this year as well. I appreciate all of you that made it this far into the video. I know I put the cards first. I was debating to do cards first or cards second, uh, but it's been a while, so I really was just eager to show cards on camera again. Uh, I will not miss it. I will be doing videos while I'm in Cleveland next week, uh, and trying to get back on track to at least some regular content being put out not making you guys wait a couple months here like I did a couple times already in the last year and a half uh, but I appreciate you guys that stuck it out uh, and will be joining me on my journey in Chicago at the National it's a week away I'll be touching down seeing old friends meeting new friends uh, and looking and hunting for some really amazing baseball cards and or oddities so uh, if you enjoyed the video uh, go check out some of these channels that I shouted out throughout the video they're all all-star worthy uh, and we'll see you guys in Cleveland